I'm here in front of the famous Golden Lamb Inn in Lebanon, Ohio, to ask you to step back in time with me to the mid-19th century to learn of an extraordinary individual and his story. His name was Henry Boyd. Born into slavery in Kentucky in 1803, Henry was a brilliant young man. He figured that if he could get in to the workshop on the plantation at a very young age, that he might be able to learn a trade, perhaps a craft, and perhaps one day buy his freedom. With his dreams intact, Henry did get into the workshop and became a skilled cabinet maker. Over time, his master would lend him out to others who required quality and workmanship to build cabinets for them. And his master allowed Henry to share in some of the profits of his creations. At around 1830, Henry was able to accumulate enough money to buy his freedom. And then from that, he moved on to Cincinnati to become a cabinet maker. Still disciplined and hardworking, Henry Boyd saved his money and eventually established his own cabinet shop. To Henry Boyd, quality was the most important factor. And from that standpoint, he would hire both black and white men to come and work in his shop. Well, over time, he became somewhat famous for his cabinets and uh, grew in wealth and prosperity. In those days, people slept on rope beds, which often loosened, forcing the occupants to roll to the center of the bed and suffer an uncomfortable night's sleep. Well, Henry had an idea. And here it is. Henry designed a bedstead where the rails screwed into both the headboard and the footboard. This was important because as an individual slept on the bed, their weight would tighten up both the screws and the ropes, thereby providing an excellent night's sleep. Well, this design became very popular, so popular that even Henry's competitors began to copy it. So Henry did something else unique for his day. He stamped his company name and location into the bedpost, thereby ensuring that people were buying a genuine Boyd bed. And now, 170 years later, we see Henry Boyd's bed here at the Golden Lamb. The bed is a great piece of history and a reminder of who he was. But that's not the whole story. Henry Boyd's remarkable story was that he was able to free himself out of the worst of human conditions, a condition where families were separated, never to be seen again. Henry Boyd was able to buy his freedom through his intelligence, his determination, and his skills. It's a lesson for all of us. It's not our condition that holds us back. Great men and lesser men have had to deal with their unique situations. But Henry Boyd shows us that through self-determination, persistence, and hard work, any man can elevate himself.